Good morning to you from Henstead. I'm actually sitting in the field this morning because uh, inside the wood the autumn rains have fallen and um, the leaves and the trees are dripping, so I don't want to get my Bible wet. I just want to ask you a question this morning. Have you ever had your way blocked? This morning as I came here, uh, I went up my usual road and suddenly I came to a whole lot of iron barriers. And I realised they were doing a roadworks, but they hadn't been assigned there. So I had to turn back and come here via a different road. And I began to think about the story of um, Balaam. Remember the story of Balaam's ass, Numbers chapter 22? Well, Balaam's way was also blocked, but it was blocked by the angel of the Lord. And if you remember the story, it's rather long to read here this morning in the short exhortation, but God actually spoke to Balaam through his own ass. And the ass had sought, seen the angel of the Lord and he'd seen how Balaam had been prevented from going to curse Israel because that's the commission that he'd been given by Balak, who was king of the Moabites at the time. Go and curse Israel, he said to him. And that may have happened because Balaam was a diviner. But because his way had been prevented and because the angel of the Lord had actually done that through his ass, it, t it caused Balaam to realize that there was a living God greater than the power that he could exert. And not just that, but that this living God favored Israel. He always said, I will bless those who bless thee and curse those who curse thee. So Balaam actually produced a fantastic prophecy in that book, in that chapter of um, chapter 23. 24. I'll read you some words here. How goodly are thy tents, from verse 5, chapter 24. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel. As the valleys are they spread forth, as gardens by the river's side, and as trees of lime aloes, which the Lord hath planted, and as cedar trees beside the waters. He shall pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. He shall eat up the nations, his enemies, and shall break their bones and pierce them through with his arrows. And so Balaam prophesied the wonder of Israel, and how, in the end, God's favor on his people always wins through. God made a way for Israel to leave Egypt and come through the Red Sea. Their way seemed blocked, didn't it, by an enormous torrent of water. But God had his way for them to get out. And so for us today, sometimes you, you may have an insurmountable problem that you're facing, something that you feel there's just no way through. But God will make a way. Even if he has to speak through an ass, sometimes to get us to get off the wrong pathway. But he will do his work. He'll do what he has to do. But we just have to submit to him. We have to say, Lord, whatever it takes, make sure, please, Lord, even if you block me, that I'm on the right pathway and that I'm standing with you. So I pray today that you'll be blessed and that your way will be opened and that God will make doors where there are no doors. Enjoy your day.